Black Mamba vs. Viper. Who would win a fight between these two extremely dangerous snake species? There are two main reasons why snakes get into fights with other snakes. During the breeding season, male snakes sometimes fight other male snakes of the same species. We might think of this as a way of impressing the girls. Not a good reason for a fight between two humans, but it seems to work for snakes. The most likely reason for our showdown is that one snake is trying to eat the other. Black Mambas are fast, nervous, lethally venomous, and when threatened, highly aggressive. They have been blamed for numerous human deaths, and African myths exaggerate their capabilities to legendary proportions. For these reasons, the Black Mamba is widely considered the world's deadliest snake. A viper is any number of venomous snake species in the Viperidae family. Researchers recognize hundreds of different species of vipers and place them in three different subfamilies. They group the species into true, pit, and fees vipers. Some of the more well-known members of this family include the rattlesnakes, puff adders, gabon vipers, moccasins, bushmasters, copperheads, and more. What do they look like? Contrary to what its name would suggest, black mambas are actually brownish in color, ranging from olive to grayish tones with paler bellies. They are named for the coloration of the inside of their mouths, which is a deep, inky black. Many people believe them to be evil due to that particular characteristic. It is a myth that has been passed down in many cultures for hundreds of years. Black Mambas have coffin-shaped heads and are lithe, athletic snakes. They can grow to be 14 feet long, 4.25 meters, though their average length is around 8 feet, 2.4 meters. These giants can live up to 11 years in the wild. One of the fastest snakes, it is capable of speeds of more than 12 miles, 19 kilometers per hour. Vipers are characterized by a pair of long, hollow, venom-injecting fangs attached to movable bones of the upper jaw that are folded back in the mouth when not in use. Their eyes have vertical pupils and their scales are keeled. Most species have rather broad, triangular heads. Vipers range in length from less than 25 centimeters, 10 inches, in the Namakwa dwarf viper of southern Africa, to more than 3 meters, 10 feet, in the Bushmaster of the Amazon Basin and Central America. Where do they live? There are several well-known places around Africa where the Black Mamba lives. They include Ethiopia, Kenya, and Somalia. They can live as high up as 5,900 feet, but they tend to live lower. However, with their natural habitat continually being depleted and food sources taken, they are adapting where they can in order to be able to survive. They will find just about any location out there a good home, as long as their basic needs can be met. They live in the swamps, the woods, the forest, and even along the savanna. They are able to thrive on very little food, where it is hot, where there is humidity, and more. In fact, once this snake makes an environment home, it is almost impossible to get them out of there. The various species of vipers live across different regions of the globe. You can find these snakes from the United States, south through Central and South America. They also live in Eurasia, Africa, and various islands. Some even range into the Arctic Circle. Only a few regions do not contain vipers, including Australia, Antarctica, and Siberia. With such a wide variety of species, it should come as no surprise that these snakes inhabit an immense range of habitats. They live everywhere, from the driest deserts to the wettest rainforests. 
Each species has its own unique habitat preferences. Some of the different ecosystems that they live in include woodlands, forests, rocky areas, coasts, wetlands, swamps, rainforests, mountainous regions, deserts, and more. What do they eat? You will usually find the black mamba living in the trees. They can find plenty of food there. Plus, they have plenty of great camouflage to keep them well hidden in such an environment. They are able to sit around and wait for various sources of food to come along. They can bite and inject strong venom with a single bite or more to their prey. They will release it when they are done, as the prey will be immobile. Their primary prey are rodents, including mice, rats, squirrels, hyraxes, and more. They also hunt birds, bats, bush babies, and other small animals. Vipers are carnivores, which means that they eat other animals. Their diet ranges greatly depending on the size of the snake and where it lives. Some specialize in certain types of prey, while others eat just about anything that they can catch and swallow. Some of the different prey items that these snakes hunt include rats, mice, rabbits, frogs, insects, lizards, other snakes, birds, bats, squirrels, and more. How do they behave in the wild? Black mambas are both terrestrial and arboreal creatures. On the ground, they move with their head and neck raised, and typically use termite mounds, abandoned burrows, rock crevices, and tree cracks as shelter. Black mambas are solitary. They are diurnal, and tend to bask in the morning and again in the afternoon. Skittish and often unpredictable, black mambas are agile and can move quickly. In the wild, they seldom tolerate humans approaching more closely than about 40 meters, 130 feet. When mambas perceive a threat, they retreat into the brush or a hole. When confronted, they are likely to engage in a threat display gaping to expose their black mouth and flicking their tongue. They may also hiss and spread their neck flap. Each species of viper has its own unique behavior. Some spend most of the day foraging for food or basking in the sun, while others are most active at dusk and dawn or during the night. Most species live solitary lives and only interact with others during the breeding season. However, some species hibernate during the winter. During hibernation, large numbers can accumulate in the same den. Some even congregate with other snake species. Now let's find out if a black mamba fights a viper. Who wins? Of course, in this confrontation, the viper species depends a lot. From my point of view, the black mamba would win. It's simply the aggressive nature of the black mambas. This specific snake is so well known that even during a migration event, not a fear-induced stampede, the black mamba, if in the way, will generally try to hide or climb a tree. But if they cannot get out of the way, they will raise themselves off the ground, similar to a cobra. Black mambas are also fast, like lightning fast, and repeat strikers. They don't do the one and done bite. They will deliver multiple bites if given the chance, and even chase something that has gained their attention. The pit viper, for example, has a one and done bite style. If both snakes got even a single bite off on the other, both snakes die. But the black mamba venom is a quicker acting venom due to the way the proteins in the venom react to blood cells, delivering the venom much quicker through the body, and it being neurotoxic adds that extra punch. Speed doesn't play a prominent role in this face-off because all venomous snakes have a relative striking speed. With that out of the way, the black mamba would prevail more than the latter does for its superior size and venom. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.